Here you are measuring the angle, but keep in mind that there are two different numbers on the protractor. So for an acute angle, meaning one that is smaller than 90, pay close attention to what number on the protractor you need to use. For obtuse angles, those are greater than 90, they open up more than the L. We want to use the larger of the two numbers. So here, this one opens up past 90. So we have either 100 or 80 to choose from. Since this is an obtuse angle, we would want to use the 100 degree measurement. This is a mandala, and so take in some detail here, because in your workbook you are going to sketch this figure. Here is my sketch. Go ahead and do yours in your workbook. When you sketch it with just a pencil, you don't have a straight edge or a compass to help create those circles or those straight lines. So it's just a sketch. It's okay if it's not perfect. Here we're going to sketch a line segment. And then we are going to draw a line segment. Here we get to use our tools for constructions. So using a ruler, we can sketch a line segment. And with the tools, we're able to get a better picture. For B, we are sketching a line segment that measures two inches. So we're approximating that it's two inches. And then here, we're actually going to draw with the measurements to two. Sketch an acute angle that has a measure of about 25 degrees. So a 25 degree angle is an acute angle. For this one, we're gonna start with a straight line. It does not matter how long. And then we're going to use our protractor to draw the mark for the 25 degree angle. You will place the center of your protractor on the dot. And then we'll create a mark at 25 degrees. And then using your straight edge, the, either the edge of the protractor or a ruler, you are going to connect the corner here with that mark that we made at 25. Sketch vertical angles that measure about 80 degrees. Vertical angles are angles that cross or intersect with lines. 80 degrees is a, just under 90, so it should almost create an L shape. Here we're going to draw using our straight edge or our ruler a line to start and place a dot in the center to use as a guide for our protractor create a mark at 80 
Then again, using our straight edge, we're going to connect the mark we made and the dot through that section. So here we have the 80 degree angles. Supplementary angles with one angle that measures 62. Supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees. 62 is less than 90, so it should be an acute angle here. For this one, we'll start with a straight line and again place a dot in this in there to help us with our protractor. This time we're going to put our mark at 62, so just over 60. And then use your ruler to connect this dot to this dot. Now, if these are supplementary, they need to add up to 180. So the other angle, 10 minus 2 is 8, 7 minus 6 is 1, 1 minus nothing is 1. This angle is 118 degrees. If I had 180 and I subtracted 80 here, that would leave me with 100 degrees for these two angles. Complementary angles are 90 degree angles, and one of them would be 36. 90 minus 36, 10 minus 6 is 4, 8 minus 3 is 5, it means this one has to be 54 degrees. Here we're going to start with a straight line and use our protractor. We'll create a mark at 90. So we have a straight line going up there. And then we also need to create a mark at 36. And connect from there to here. So this one is 36 degrees and this one is 54. Now we're going to sketch a circle. And for this one, we'll need to use the compass tool. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle. Parallel lines are ones that never intersect. So let's start here. We're going to use our straight edge to draw a straight line. And our protractor to put a mark at 90 degrees. Then we'll connect that dot and this dot. You'll be using a ruler for this part. For our parallel lines, at this point in time, we're just going to 
use two straight edges. Um, eventually we'll learn a more precise construction. But for now this will do. The rest of this lesson is a digital lesson, so if your teacher has this part unlocked, go ahead and log in to Great Minds. And it says to construct a line segment. It doesn't give us any measurements or directions, so we're just creating a segment. However, in B, it says construct a line segment that measures two units. So we want it to be two boxes wide. It could also go two up, two down, or two to the left, but we want it to be two long. Construct an angle that has a measure of 25 degrees. Construct vertical angles such that one angle measures 80 degrees. Construct supplementary angles with one angle that measures 62. And you can see this other side here. There's a line that goes across the bottom. So this angle here would be the supplement to this angle 62. Complementary angles, you can see there's a 90 degree angle created here. And then one angle that measures 36 degrees. Construct a circle. You can drag that in or out to make your circle larger or smaller. Construct a pair of perpendicular lines. Those are the ones that intersect at a 90 degree angle. So you want to see that little 90 degree symbol or the right angle symbol. The two lines intersecting. Here you want parallel lines. Parallel lines do not touch. So we don't want them to touch at all. We also don't want them to look like they are going to run into each other even off the page. We want them to never touch, no matter how far we extend these lines past what we can see. Please make sure that your workbook is filled in with the sketches and constructions and that your computer has those digital sketches and constructions done as well.